Hi Aries, this is your February 2022 reading, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries. For February 2022 in love universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Aries, this is you. This is your partner. So, Aries, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For February 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Aries, is the four of wands. Keeps coming up for you. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Aries, listen, you know. Very well could be a celebration. Someone could have commitment on the rain, maybe leveling up here, possibly property here, Aries. Clarify the four of wands for Aries and their partner. Clarify the four of wands for Aries and their partner. Clarify the four of wands for Aries and their partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that something was off balance with the giving and receiving maybe in the household here. Aries, you can tell me that someone is giving the other something, maybe a bling bling shiny thing, maybe wanting to level up here. Could be some type of celebration and someone is receiving something here. Or you guys already had this stability or commitment and someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Aries, you have the two of wands. You have the eight of pentacles. You have something someone the nine of swords your partner has the knight of pentacles your partner has the magician and your partner has justice okay so aries listen the mutual point of interest and what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, we could be at a celebration and someone is receiving something here, giving something here. Very well could be that someone wants to bring balance and give in the household here or something was off balance with giving and receiving in the household. Someone may want to give someone a bling bling shiny thing because they want to level up here. Or you guys had this already established commitment that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Aries, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, 
This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Aries, you're at a crossroads, trying to pick a path, trying to decide what to do here. Clarify the two of wands for Aries. Clarify the two of wands for Aries. Clarify the two of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is conflict, this is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama, but this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Aries, you very well could be conflicted within about something, about some type of move you're wanting to make here. Should you, shouldn't you, or which path here? However, you can tell me that you guys had this conflict, disagreement, or argument, and it puts you at a crossroads questioning, you know, what should I do and where should I go from here? Aries, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that, hey, maybe something is going on at work. Maybe you work with this person. You can tell me that, hey, you're willing to work things out here or you're working on something. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Aries, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Aries, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Aries, it is clarified with the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aries, listen, you know, it could be something going on at work and there's some type of financial lack here. Maybe someone has to receive something here or asking to receive it or assistance or something. Aries, you could also tell me, yes, you guys broke up, but maybe someone wants to work on this here. I hope you guys didn't break up over work or business or money. Aries, you have the nine of pentacles, um, nine of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aries, something has you all up in your head, a little stressed, a little worried, a little anxious or bothered. I clarify the nine of swords. For Aries, clarify the Nine of Swords. For Aries, clarify the Nine of Swords. For Aries, it is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, listen. Hmm. You can tell me you're feeling a sense of betrayal. Very well could be something going on with someone at work that caused this breakup here. Some type of betrayal. However, Aries, tens are ending. So you could be trying to come up out of feeling a sense of betrayal, but you're still in your head about it. And it very well could be that, I don't know, maybe someone is giving you something here. Maybe wanting to level up or something. Or you're telling me the betrayal is because someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. And you guys has already established commitment here. Aries. You well, your partner has the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value but it's on the slowest moving night in the deck so having anything solid stable secure and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all so stability or commitment has been halted here so aries everything has come to a screeching halt with you guys clarify the knight of pentacles for aries partner clarify the knight of pentacles for aries partner Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Aries could be dealing with a Gemini. But 
your partner could tell me that you guys have a strong twin flame magnetic pull between you or there's another other lover also when we're dealing with the lovers this can be a partnership with work or business clarify the lovers for aries partner clarify the lovers for aries partner clarify the lovers for aries partner it is clarified with the empress could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with this Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. And this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. So there's stagnation here. Now, is it that your partner wants to nurture the relationship because you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull? Or is you got, are you guys stagnant because there was another other lover, baby mama, baby daddy, or someone expecting here now in the picture? Clarify the Empress for Aries, partner. Clarify the Empress for Aries, partner. Clarify the Empress for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Aries, like, I, mm, uh, you know, I, listen, your partner could be weighing things up, trying to decide here after stagnation, whether or not they want to nurture the relationship further because you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull. Aries, uh, you know, it could be your partner weighing things up concerning some type of partnership and work in business because practicality could have went stagnant here, okay? And they're worried about their abundance. However, Aries, did you guys go stagnant because it was another other lover that was juggling taking place here? Caused you some type of sense of betrayal. Aries, your partner has the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the air element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Aries could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Aries, partner. Clarify the magician for Aries, partner. Clarify the magician for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the, the Hierophants. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Hmm. So Aries could be dealing with a Taurus, but listen, you guys may already have a commitment here. Your partner could have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness because it caused you some type of betrayal here. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries partner it is clarified with the chariot could be dealing with a cancer but your partner is determined to move forward confidently victoriously successfully ahead now this can speak to travel this can speak to relocating cities states countries this can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind but your partner is determined to move forward confidently so aries could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the fool. 
This is you, Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the fool for Aries, partner. Clarify the fool for Aries, partner. What does Aries partner think of Aries? What does Aries partner think of Aries? Clarify the fool for Aries partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Aries, listen, I asked what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you're burdened by something here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Aries, your partner could tell me that Something is burdensome and they're wanting to release a burden. Maybe wanting to move forward with you, okay? Maybe wanting to move forward and take a leap of faith, asking for forgiveness and a second chance. And also maybe commitment on the brain here so that it can release a burden. Aries, your partner has justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something is imbalanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Aries, partner. Clarify justice for Aries, partner. Clarify justice for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the magician. Uh, yo, is your partner a master manipulator manipulating the situation here? Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. Your partner's trying to make something happen, Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries, partner. Clarify the magician. For Aries partner. Mm -hmm. Clarify the magician for Aries partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking their truth. Spewing facts with direct harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Aries, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the magician for Aries, partner. Clarify the magician for Aries, partner. Clarify the magician for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. <sighs> Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming in to your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. Are you dealing with a bully? Like, clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. A manipulating bully? Uh, I can't even say it. A manipulating bully? Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Aries, partner, it is clarified with this Knight of Pentacles again. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Aries, everything has come to a screeching halt, but is it that you guys were on the road to something more stable and committed and then something happened and now we have some type of explaining to do? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Aries, listen, very well could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this king of swords. Coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, it just seems to me, <clears throat> I'm getting cold here, honey. I'm getting cold. Aries, it seems to me that your partner's wish is to maybe go to the justice of the peace here. Because I feel like they're trying to manifest some type of romantic gesture, proposal, or a leveling up celebration, receiving some type of bling bling shiny thing here, but you guys are stagnant here. Or you guys were on the road to going to, into some type of commitment and you guys went stagnant. It's like your partner has commitment on the brain. They want to move forward, take this leap of faith. But when it comes to you, something is so heavy and difficult. Because you're over here all up in your head stressing because there was some type of betrayal here. Did you guys go stagnant over the fact that there was another other lover, baby mama, baby daddy, or someone expecting in the picture? And that's what kind of threw a monkey wrench into you guys' plans here. You know, I feel like, yes, you guys did have an argument, but I also feel like you're conflicted within about whether or not you want to stay on this road to having something committed with this person. So listen, I do feel like, yes, you know, when I, I look at your partner, they're like hell bound to like go into some type of commitment, have a celebration here, maybe exchanging something here, token of love here. However, Aries, it could also be that you guys had plans for this stability, but someone was giving more somewhere else giving to two. Aries, this is your February 2022 reading. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.